Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. So this one's called accessing object properties with variables. So we learned before that we can use bracket notation to access a property inside of objects. What we can also do is have a variable which has the same name of that property to access it. So here's an example. So we have a object dogs and we have the fetal mutt names and properties. So now we're having declaring a variable my dog and assigning it to the string hunter. And this hunter is the same as this. So we can use this variable instead of the string to access it. And we'll get Doberman. And just note that as a variable, so we don't need quotations around this. And here's a more dynamic way that you're looking at it. It's kind of look a little bit intimidating at first, but it's not that bad. So we have an object here, some object with a prop name John, and now we have a function that takes in a string, str, and it has a declaring a variable s equal to prop, and then we're returning s plus what we're passing through. So here we're passing through name, so so prop is first plus name, we get prop name, and that equals to this variable. So it's the same here, so we can console log some prop with this variable and we'll get John. Yeah, I know it's kind of convoluted. I never really seen too much of declaring variables for this, but it's good to know that you can do it. So for this exercise, it wants us to set the player name variable to 16. Okay, so we equals to 16. And now we want to use this variable to look up the player's name and assign it to player. So we are creating a, a variable here and then we're accessing the 16 we want to get the Montana. So we can just simply put the variable name player number. And that'll be all for this one. Thank you so much.